I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs>to my channel. I am back from a one week adventure away with um, med sailors in Greece um, and today is my laundry day. Today is the day after I get back, I got back from um, Athens. Um, I flew in, I got in about two o'clock this morning so I'm a bit tired <laughs> but today I'm gonna do my uh, kind of what to pack video but sort of in reverse. Other YouTubers sort of do this prior to their travels, um, I do this after my travels because everyone makes mistakes. So I'm going to show you exactly what I took with me and in that sort of process I'm going to make some laundry piles for myself and get my laundry started. I also will tell you what I brought with me, what I regret taking, um, what I didn't use and things that I wish I did take but I didn't. So let's get cracking eh? What to do first? So obviously I've taken a few things out, <laughs> like my eyebrow pencil, had to get my eyebrows on. But I have put everything back in the cases and my bag so that I can give you a good, well-rounded view of what I took. Um, I won't lie about anything, I'm literally going to just chuck things out and throw things on the floor. <laughs> I'm not going to write this down anywhere, um, so if you do want to um, make some sort of packing list, I would advise you to get a grab a piece of paper and a pen. Um, I tried to do this last time, but I just didn't have enough time. So if you do want to follow on what kind of what to pack sort of list, then make sure you get grab a pen and a piece of paper now, pause it, and then come back in a bit. What shall I do first? Um, this is my carry-on luggage. It is open. <laughs> this pocket's open everywhere. So this is my hand luggage. Um, so there's a few things in here that I know I wish I never took. <laughs> so the first thing is... Okay, so this is my beach towel. I bought this in Greece. I forgot to take one with me and so I just picked it up when I was there. It was about eight euros. Everyone, I think the cheapest someone bought was about five euros. Um, but yeah, there are beach, there are bath towels supplied by med sailors. Um, so you don't need to take a shower towel at all. So just make sure you bring a beach towel. First thing in the pile. Okay, so I brought my uh, flask, my Love Island flask with me. Um, so this is, helped me stop buying plastic bottles and reduce the plastic that we're going that's going around um i use this a lot i went into bars and just asked them if they could top it up and stuff they were completely fine with it make sure you bring one of these because you're gonna be drinking a lot of water all day i drank so much water i feel great <laughs> last time i did this i almost broke things so i need to be careful this time <laughs> these are my glasses they are completely scratched to death so i need to buy some new ones i'm a bit annoyed by that um i've got one i've got two universal adapters somewhere um, the only problem with these is that I wish there was a USB cord in them. Um, the only problem with med sailors is that there are no sockets on the boats. There are no sockets. This was an absolute rumour. I was told there were going to be sockets. So I brought some stuff, which I wish I didn't, because I thought there were going to be sockets. There are no sockets. Um, so there are literally two USB cables on our, on our yacht. Um, <laughs> that was it. So we were literally just... Whoa. Um, so we were swapping and changing and sharing the plug sockets to charge our phones basically and our GoPros, but that was about it. Um, if we wanted to charge like our cameras, for example, there was a couple of um, people with cameras. Um, then we did that when we are, were on shore, maybe like in a restaurant on stuff. So yeah, just be mindful of that. You'll see a few things that I wish I didn't take because of that situation. Hair clips, phone charger, headphones, There's loads of receipts. <laughs> Keys for me out. Uh, oyster card. Oh, we're going in deep now. <laughs> I found it. This is my iPhone plug with my USB cable in it. I've been looking for this for four days. I've been looking for this for ages. I thought I lost it. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> and girls' toiletries. I'll just slip them to the side. I bought um, nail varnish with me. I was going to do my nails. I obviously didn't. A lock for my bag. A map of Athens. <laughs> Just so you're aware, the airport, um, the train ticket from Athens is 10 euros, um, and that will take you from from the airport all the way to the middle. Um, it was pretty easy. If you are a Londoner like me, then once you can do the underground, you can do anything. Uh, my passport. Uh, this is my vlogging camera. Um, obviously, 
if you want to take a camera, take a camera, but you know, YouTubers, we, we kind of need these. Um, I brought a book. I'm dyslexic, so I've been wanting to, I bought this book maybe a year ago and I still haven't read it. So I was like, this is a prime opportunity to read a book for a change. And I read a page. <laughs> I really need to read this though. I, I don't regret taking it. I just wish I made more time to read. This is the biggest thing I regret taking. I didn't use this once. Usually I do take this with me um, on every trip with me. I take a laptop with me all the time. Um, obviously for YouTube reasons, like to download my footage and get a bit organized, because I like to be organized. Um, but because there were no plug sockets on the trip, this was a mistake. A waste of time, waste of effort, and it was bloody heavy. With this comes also the charger, my hard drive as well. Like, it was just all useless. So all of this could have stayed at home. These were all my instructions from Med Sailors, so I knew where to um, meet, um, meet the group, like the address for the harbour and stuff like that. So this was actually really useful. I did use all this um, just so I knew um, like how much stuff was, what to expect during each day. Um, so this was really useful. Obviously my phone. If any of my crew are missing an iPhone charger, this must be yours because I've got two now and I don't know how that's happened. I'll send it to you, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I have a souvenir, so I got um, a shot glass this time. I always bring something back with me every single time I go on a trip. This is my GoPro, Ooh, GoPro and the um, and the selfie stick to go with it. I use that a lot and I use that pretty much most days, as you'll see in the travel vlogs that I've done. This is my purse. In my purse, I have zero money, <laughs> but I do have my bank cards. So I brought my credit card, my debit card, um, my travel money card, um, and I brought my driving license as well. Just so you know that if you want to do any of these scooters or the um, quad bikes, stuff like that, you need to have a license which has the scooters on the back of the card, um, provisionals, are not, they won't let you have one with a provisional license and it has to be a UK, Europe or international driving license in order to do that. Uh, but I didn't end up doing it anyway because I just wanted to drink and live out. <laughs> this is my um, GoPro headset. This is my camera tripod. I didn't actually use this. That could have stayed behind. This was awesome. I loved using this. Okay, this is my dome. This is for GoPro, so you put your GoPro in the back here. All the half and half photos which you see um, where you can see under the water and you can see on top of the water, that's how you get them. And this only cost me like 30 quid off, off Amazon as well. Um, so yeah, this was great. I love this. Um, and it floats, <laughs> so I didn't, couldn't lose it. These are my sandals. I did use these, especially on toga night. They looked great for toga night. These are my Toms. I use these all the time too. They actually fell apart while I was in Athens, which I was really upset about. So I need to buy a new pair of these again. I just like to wear shoes out until they die. I'm not a very shoe girl person. The last thing on the bag is my travel pillow. So I always take my travel pillow with me. I just get so uncomfortable on airplanes. And also it's great for any girls that have problems with big boobs. So I can sleep like this at night. <laughs> That's that bag done. Obviously I brought my camera bag um, and my camera as well, but I can't show you my camera because I'm kind of using it. I brought my camera with me, my SLR camera. Um, I wish I used it more. I'm just having too much of a good time, to be honest. Ooh, this is the stuff I went, tr um, I went to the airport in. Um, I like to wear baggy, um, baggy pants um, for traveling in because they're just really comfortable. Um, I also wore a t-shirt and um, my shoes. I also wore these on the plane um, purely to save space while I was packing and they're a lot easier for like getting to and from the airport and stuff. So I wore these. And I also brought my denim jacket um, purely for airport journeys and potentially any cold nights on the trip. It was like 30 degrees pretty much even at night sometimes. So I didn't really wear this during the trip, but I did wear it from the airport and to and from, and you know, I don't regret taking that at all. This is my hand luggage. Oh, this is, so this is my checked luggage. It's open, because <laughs> I had to get in it. 
it's a very small hand luggage size. It's a lot smaller than I kind of wish I brought. I was looking for a bigger bag, um, but the I couldn't find the, 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 the bag that I wanted. Basically, I want a Roxy bag, which is not hard case, and it's kind of like a um, an easy, so it'll be easier for me to rummage through. Um, but I couldn't find one um, at a price that I thought was acceptable. Um, I'm gonna have to wait for the sales again to get one because I really do need a bag in between the sizes of my small weekend bag, which I call this my weekend bag because I'm a massive overpacker, um, and my big bag, which I take away for like two weeks worth of clothes. So I need something for like a week between those two bags. So th this just, <laughs> just did it, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really regret not finding a bag, but there was nothing really I could do. <laughs> Wish I never brought these. Obviously, it's a socket. There were no sockets. So this was ridiculous and I shouldn't have brought this. I did use it in Athens on the first day, but I did not use it again till today. Um, so yeah, if hair straighteners and um, Kellen Tongs and stuff like that, leave them at home girls, there's, there's no point. Um, we all just went for the all natural look and if you don't like the all natural look, plait your hair. So this bag was waiting for us when we got to the um, cabins, when we got um, to our yacht. Um, so everyone got one of these bags. Um, they used to give away t-shirts as well or you could buy t-shirts. I really wish they, they didn't have that option there when I was there. Um, I really wish they did because I really would like a t-shirt, um, especially for like the nights or something like that, or lazing about the boat. So I saw that other people had, did have them, but I didn't get one of those. In this bag is all my knickers and, and um, bras and stuff, so you don't need to see that. Um, but in here we do have some um, swimming costumes, which I can show you. Okay, so I brought two sets of bikinis. Um, I brought a nice blue one and I bought um, this black one as well. Um, these are very old. One's a size 12, that gives you a clue. I think they're both from New Look. One, this one's New Look, this one's Next and Topshop. This is a mixture of two different <laughs> bikinis. Um, I did wear them. Um, I was very uncomfortable at first wearing them, but I did wear them. And I also brought two uh, swimming costumes. Um, this is just a plain black backless one. And this is kind of another, this is kind of a fancier one. Um, the only problem with this one is that I had a bit of boob slippage. <laughs> a very inappropriate time, but only Hannah was around, so it's fine. I like these ones because they're high waisted, because they hide all my wobbly bits. I just felt really more comfortable in these than I did in the bikinis, especially as a bigger girl. I just don't, I don't, that's what I just feel a bit more comfortable in them. Um, but I did wear them all, so I think four swimsuits is sort of enough. This is sort of my medicine bag. In here I have travel sickness tablets. Make sure you have them. On the last day it was so rocky. Um, I was absolutely passed out. Um, I was absolutely passed out on the last night because I was really hungover. Um, <laughs> but um, it, the wind picked up really badly on the last day, um, so the waves were pretty rocky on the last day. Um, and Hannah came and woke me up and was like, you need to take your travel sickness tablets now. I was like, really? Oh yeah, I think I do. Um, so I took mine and the drowsy ones, so I just passed out and then I woke up when we docked. <laughs> so I missed saying goodbye to everyone, which is sad. Um, but it was out being sick on the boat, so yeah. Travel sickness tablets, they were key. I've got lozenges, and compedes for any blisters and stuff like that. Hay fever, I think everyone, quite a few people were taking hay fever tablets. It was quite high pollen, it was really sunny. Uh, paracetamol, uh, nose spray, like a nail file, and um, I put my necklaces in here and stuff. The only thing I didn't use in this bag was probably the bracelets. Um, I brought one bracelet, um, but that's about it. I used everything else, so no regrets in this bag. No regrets a change. Right, so this is my handbag. I'm not a handbaggy person. I have one bag, maybe two, and that's it. I will use this until it falls apart. <laughs> so I've got tissues. I've got my other universal adapter. This is my charger for my uh, vlogging camera. This is my power pack uh, for my phone. This has about maybe four chargers in it. I highly recommend bringing one of these. Um, 
obviously because of the phone situation like everyone was struggling to charge their phones and stuff so uh, there's only two USB ports so everyone sort of whoever had these really you <laughs> took advantage of these so make sure you have one of these you power up before you get home uh, before you leave and then honestly it's a god bless this this was probably the best thing I took and Blistex uh, medicated lip balm uh, which has um, SPF on it as well so to help your lips and get not getting sunburned back done this is my makeup bag there's a lot of stuff in here i didn't use <laughs> i think with the med sailors trips everyone kind of went a bit au naturel on these trips i do feel a bit self-conscious sometimes so i do have a lot of makeup um obviously today i'm quite au natural again um probably because of the trip <laughs> um but I do have contouring kit in here and highlighter and yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here I wish I didn't take. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. The, the highlighter and the contouring kit, again, I think I do this every single time. I bring it with me and then I don't use it because beforehand I feel really self-conscious and then I get there and everyone's not wearing it. So other females bracing their natural skin kind of really helps um, me feel better about myself. So yeah, I, I pr brought it with me, but I didn't use it, so, but everything else I sort of used, so, yeah. Uh, this is my um, GoPro charger lead. This is my knee brace. Um, I didn't use it, thankfully, but if I, um, if my knee did go, then that would have come in handy. I brought two palettes with me, uh, my Naked palette and then my Revolution packet palette. I did not use this one at all. This is over excessive. Why did I bring two palettes with me? I should have just brought one. Face wipes. I got this lovely tote bag from when I went when I bought my um, my beach towel. So I really like that. So I'm going to keep that. This is blue wine. This isn't mine. Um, I basically just helped um, my friend Ben bring this home because he lives down the road um, and we got on really well so um, I was helping him out because he only brought hand luggage only and I had a check bag. I think I was probably one of the only people who were a check bag so lucky you Ben. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to give that to him in a couple of days when I see him again. Um, so yeah, or I might just drink it. Uh, <laughs> that's not mine, unfortunately. Got to restrain myself there. So I have two dresses, um, I wore both of them, um, I got a nice long red dress, uh, they both seem to have the same sort of flowers on it, I never realised till now. And then I've got this yellow one, um, I only wore this once actually, I had a lovely nice shower at one of the hotels and then I wore this after. I have two maxi skirts, um, which I absolutely love, I use them both, um, maybe twice, both each. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate these maxi skirts on the trip. I have loads of t-shirts, I'm just going to count them. So I have nine day t-shirts. I, just a little quick through, I have used eight of them. So I had one spare. Um, there was part, way, part of the trip halfway through where I was really worried that I was going to run out of t-shirts. So I was kind of reusing them. But everyone kind of on the trip kind of did anyway. So I don't know. I think I was just being overly anxious about um, wearing not wearing the same thing every single day, but everyone was. I, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I brought the right amount of t-shirts to be honest. I also have free night t-shirts as well, so something to wear nice, uh, something nice to wear at night um, for any meals out. I have three pairs of shorts, so denim shorts were really useful because they dry as well wore these um, two days, two days. I wore them these on a night out and I also wore them after the water spots as well. Um, and I also brought these as well, but I don't remember wearing those. I brought two, hmm, two, I brought two pairs of pajama shorts and two nighttime shirts. I'm sure I had a third nighttime shirt, but I can't see it anywhere. Maybe that's been left on the boat. <laughs> And then the last thing is my um, toiletry bag. Is I have my toothpaste and toothbrush, which I've already taken out so I can do my tea. I have deodorant, uh, sunscreen. Um, I used SPF 30. Um, I did get I did get kind of a good tan, kind of. <laughs> I also have after sun, which I also used. <laughs> I have a hairbrush. I have um, a razor. 
Um, I have my body butter in case of my dry skin. Um, and I have um, dry shampoo. Um, everything in there I did use. Okay, and that's that empty. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found some tips from my unpacking my bag uh, for my med sailors trip. I really enjoyed my med sailors trip. Um, I, I just felt so relaxed and chill and it's it's honestly one of the best trips I've ever done, I say, honestly. And I'm already thinking about potentially doing another one. Um, so if you do want to do them, I highly recommend you do them. I had a lot of anxieties beforehand. Um, please check out my um, pre-trip anxiety blog um, for that because um, I had a lot of anxieties before the trip and, and med sailors proved me wrong. <laughs> If you have any questions about um, anything you think that you should be packing um, or you think that should be left behind, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is free if you'd like to press it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.